Also, what I'm uh, personally proud, in uh, March in Paris, there was a report and a recommendation by the Parliamentary Assembly of Council of Europe to the Committee of Ministers. That's the, the, the body that is, uh, consists of every Minister of Foreign Affairs in Council of Europe. We are under a report of one of the members of the Parliament. It was asked uh, from the Greek state to recognize the Macedonian minority in Northern Greece and Asian Macedonia, and also to recognize uh, their right to use their language, to open schools, uh, implementing some of uh, the decisions of the court which are not uh, yet implemented in uh, the, the Greek country. And uh, that was the first time in the history of uh, the country fighting on this issue where it was clearly recognized that Macedonian minority is living in, in, in Greece. Second important thing, which I think is also important, under the report of the High Commissioner for Human Rights uh, on his last report for 2009, which was uh, presented before the Parliamentary Assembly this uh, this April, end of April, it was clearly said that the Bulgarian state should uh, implement the decisions of the uh, Court for Justice of Council of Europe regarding Comwell and Pirin and uh, the organization reg registrations and the things after that should, that should follow. Very short, I would like also to mention about uh, NATO and European Union. As you know, for NATO, we have fulfilled all criteria that were us from the country. The country has fully modernized its army and practically from uh, one type of army that was uh, during Yugoslavia we have now another type of army which is professional. There is no obligatory military service for the citizens. All members of the army are professionals. Uh, and regarding this in 2008 we received an invitation together with Croatia and Albania for joining NATO. Unfortunately we got uh, veto on the Bukhara summit, summit from Greece, you know that very, very well. And uh, because of that, we are still not a member of, the, of NATO. Uh, I just want to, to mention two important things. First is the Operation Iraqi Freedom, where in 11 rounds, 49 soldiers, Macedonian soldiers, were in Iraq. Together with uh, their friends from the other armies, they were trying to establish peace there. And uh, Afghanistan, which we are very proud, that's the uh, mission ISAF. In that mission, in uh, the rounds that are so far, we have totally 1,351 soldiers been there. In the moment, uh, we have 255 soldiers. We have increased uh, the number for 49 soldiers, and we have 4% of our army now deployed in a mission in Afghanistan, which is third highest number per capita uh, of all armies that are in uh, this mission, which is making us very proud, but also is uh, giving a huge, uh, very, very big reputation of the country inside NATO organizations. There are a lot of, a lot of countries in NATO which in the moment has much less number of, of soldiers in, 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 in the peacekeeping uh, missions. And about the European Union, uh, we have two, two very important things that we managed to fulfill last year. The first one is uh, the visa liberalization with the decision of the European, uh, of the Commission of the European Union on uh, 17th of December. We got visa, visa liberalization for all Schengen countries, for all countries that have signed the Schengen Agreement. That is practically almost all countries in, in, in the European Union except uh, United Kingdom and, and Ireland. So now our citizens can freely travel all around Europe. It was a task and goal that was uh, a long, long years before, before this decision, something that the citizens of the country wanted to be fulfilled. I'm happy that we have now, we had certain criteria that we had to fulfill, we've done that, and now our, our citizens are equal to their European friends. The second thing is that uh, in, the, in the report, the progress report that Macedonia had last year for 2008-2009 period, there was clear recommendation by the European Commission where it was asked from the uh, Council of the European Union to uh, give a date to 
Macedonia for starting negotiations for membership in the European Union, saying that all necessary criteria for opening this are uh, already fulfilled. Unfortunately, again, because of the name issue, we were blocked from, from the Greek country, and um, now we have uh, six months period, which is ending this uh, June, where we should find some kind of solution or find a, a way to, to overbridge this, this issue. There are chances. There is, uh, this issue is not without chances. The Prime Minister is working very hard these days to uh, find a way to go through this and on 17th of uh, June to have a positive reply from the European Union and finally to start a negotiations which we hope we can uh, start together with Iceland and finish them in three and a half to four years. That's, that's a plan. Uh, all these, international, all these uh, relations are practically faced with one problem, that's the, the name issue, and I want to clear say the position of my political party and of the government. My political party is leading the government. Uh, we think that it, it is very important to discuss this issue because this issue is an issue that is obstacle to uh, the integration of the country. But we also say that any decision that might come from these uh, discussions should go on a referendum and citizens uh, should uh, tell their, their opinion whether it is right or not. Furthermore, we are not ready to make compromise on the Macedonian identity, Macedonian language, and Macedonian culture, because that is something that no one can make compromise. And also, we are not ready to make compromise on the constitutional name of the country that is uh, used within the countries and together with the countries that has recognized the country as Republic of Macedonia. So we continuously try to find a solution so far uh, there are not very positive signals from the Greek side, although there is good communication regarding the previous government, we have now better communication. But as I said, we expect, expect that new winds will come in Greece and that in some next period there will be more positive energy for resolving this issue. Thank you very much for your time and uh, I'll be happy to answer all questions that uh, you are interested to ask me. Thank you.